Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Miss here with a short video basically this time on Cube World. Just a short update on what's been happening. Development is still ongoing apparently. The it probably will be a long time before the project is finished, if at all. But at least it is still currently in development of some description, as initially a lot of people feared that the developer had simply abandoned the game entirely when he disappeared for almost a year. However, he's been back for a while and in the latest update there is some information regarding the next update. If we head over to the official website for the game, we do find that the submarine that is Picroma resurfaced at just shy of 2200 hours, June the 30th, 2014. During this brief period, it did announce that it has a preview currently available on YouTube or on the website where you can watch the upcoming quest system that is to be implemented into the game at a later date. However, since that announcement, it has been two full months almost since then, and a lot of us are still probably wondering where the update is, when it will be arriving, and if it will at all. It probably will, however, if you go by the Cube World launcher, you will see that the last update to officially hit the game landed around July the 23rd, 2013. Yeah. So it is on the way. It is currently being developed. There is a video showing that the quest system is working and in place. So we just got to wait and hopefully it's been two months now. It should land soon. If you dig a little deeper on the Pachroma website, you will find an official statement made earlier by Wally stating that quests are an important part of an RPG. Quests guide the player to various places telling stories and giving a reason to do all the monster and item hunting. So we decided to add quests to Cube World as well. And because everyone was asking for it because there was nothing else to do. Perhaps. He goes on to state that there is some initial challenges facing him in implementing this quest system. The world itself is procedurally generated or generated on the fly as he describes it in a small region that surrounds the player as he or she explores it. The solution around this was a desire to define quests more globally by this he also goes on to explain that there should be quests that send you from one end of the land to the other so that I, Wally, have developed a system which allows me to create quests in areas that haven't been generated yet. Complicated isn't it, he states with a cheeky wink. It certainly sounds it and good luck to him in developing this quest system fully however he does say that the main key to this quest system success within a procedural generated environment is that the NPCs, monsters and items must be generated before the actual landscapes so they can be logically linked to the quests themselves. Various types of quests shown in the official screenshots hint at destruction of a set number of targets, for example demon portals, captured prisoner rescues, discovery of new areas where NPCs with quests may reside, killing of specified target or targets such as a radishling gang which has been spotted nearby to the village, there will also be new places to discover where NPCs will reside with quests. These may be in dungeons, these may be in towers, or simply at the top of a mountain. In some cases you may have to go to some of these places in order to obtain the quest and also to find the specific target or objective that is acquired for its completion. And that was just a short update for Cube World, which is currently still in alpha. However, if you are thinking of picking it up, you can find it on the Picroma website. However, I would wait out until the quest system update officially drops and is implemented fully into the game. And there will be certainly a lot more to do as of the minute. The only thing really to do, especially leveling, very difficult as most things only give you one experience per kill is to simply go onto a multiplayer server if you can find one and just leave your character there as people kill world bosses in groups around the server everyone on the server gains experience and you will be able to power through levels and pick up more abilities for your character but aside from that there is certainly not a lot to do or explore once the quest system lands there is going to be a lot more to do and it might be worth actually picking up at that point but as I say till then hold off and see what happens that's all from me today, so until next time, mists out.